Senator Nyutu. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I really do not think that I said uh, that the president, uh, I did not impute that the president uh, is interfering in the powers or the independence of the judiciary. If Senator Eddie heard me well, I talked about more allocations to the judiciary, to empower the judiciary more. So it was about the allocation, Mr. Speaker. Uh, it was not about, you know, interfering with the powers of the judiciary. It's more allocation than that. I think that is what the president talked about. Senator, and I think if you Senator, got I need to, to show that uh, we can indeed be on the right footing. I want to refer Senator Ende to Article 173, which establishes the judiciary fund. Article 173 of the Constitution. Proceed. Uh, Senator Newt. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I was going to refer to him. I was going to tell him to ask him to go to paragraph 18 and 19 of the President's speech, but uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, because you have come to my aid. And uh, I think I'm going to proceed. And, and, and I was talking about before uh, Senator Eddy uh, rose on a point of order, talking about uh, uh, subsidizing uh, consumption in the place of production. And I think, Mr. Speaker, I had uh, pronounced myself uh, clearly about about that particular um, point that the president made. And Mr. Speaker, if you allow me, um, I think the other thing that um, uh, got me almost excited about the president's speech was um, uh, paragraphs 25 and 26, Mr. Speaker, where the president um, talked about empowering uh, hustlers, Mr. 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 Speaker, and particularly uh, this of decriminalizing enterprise, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I was elected by the people of Moranga to be their senator. And it is common knowledge, and everybody who comes to Nairobi knows that most of the hawkers in Nairobi, most of the hawkers uh, in most of these uh, towns around here, Mr. Speaker, come from Moranga. And Mr. Speaker, when, I, when the president uh, talked about decriminalizing enterprise, because we know that hawkers have been facing it very rough, Mr. Speaker, from uh, county carries everywhere. Uh, and these are people who are innocent, people just acting a living out of uh, maybe hawking and those small businesses. Mr. Speaker, I think as a person that is elected by the people of Muranga, hustlers, people who do their small businesses, hardworking people, if I... Uh, if, I, if I kept quiet, Mr. Speaker, and stopped or forgot to thank the president for committing that he's going to decriminalize enterprise, Mr. Speaker, I think I would be doing a great disservice to the people of Moranga that elected me to come to this house. I can see, Mr. Speaker, Senator, uh, the senator from Nairobi. Uh, okay, let us first uh, get from Senator New to whether he is uh, ready to be informed by the Senator for Nairobi City. Well, maybe you can inform me, Mr. Speaker, as long as his information will be factual. Senator Sifuna, yes, proceed. Uh, I just want to inform my colleague that, in fact, the Hustler government that you put in place in Nairobi is, as we speak, evicting those hawkers you're speaking about from the CBD. And I want you to join me because we all have to fight for those hustlers to make sure that the county government of Nairobi does not remove those hustlers 